Hi, Sam. Um, that must feel like being kicked when you're down um, after your team put in a really resolute display to lose in that manner. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, obviously, the um, the uh, last-minute goal is something that we, we could have avoided. Um, but I'm still of the belief that um, the officials, in terms of what we could have done today, could have gone uh, and made a better decision for us. Um, whatever Sooners and Red Knapp are saying on Sky Sports at the moment, um, they can say what they want, but there is no way with Matt Phillips in front of the goalie or Matt Phillips not in the front of the goalie would that goalkeeper have saved that ball because the ball was headed down to our player and he puts it in the back of the net with, and the goalie would have had no chance of saving it. But uh, that's the way it is. I think we have to accept that, but um, it's disappointing. Then obviously the referee getting his his decision wrong for their first goal. And then of course our disappointment is us just switching off in the last few seconds of the game and allowing their goalkeeper to get the winner. So um you know it's um you know it's um, difficult to take because you know we did um, exceptionally well against a very good Liverpool side by shutting them down, closing them down, um, not letting them do what they want like lots of teams do. Uh, we didn't let them do that. And we shut them down the best way we possibly could and frustrated them. Just, just in terms of the, um, the the winning goal there, uh, does it just throw things into confusion? The defence has defended so well and it's been well organised, but just having that extra body in the box, uh, does that just... Con did someone need to take control of that situation for your defence? Somebody had to, and so, unfortunately for us, I mean, he's, you know, what is he, six foot three? You know, so, you know, we should have tried to get one of our bigger players who could have left, you know, one of their players and tried to get on him and tried to mark him. Um, it was a quality ball and a quality header, uh, but he was free. There was nobody marking him, so that is the disappointment. Um, and massively disappointment for the players to take after such a such a well-organised, well-planned, tactically very good performance by our players today. And I think that... Um, you know, we exposed their weaknesses as best we possibly could on the face and the, and the basic matter that we didn't only score a goal against is allowed. Robson Carnu could have scored three. Um, and I have to say, they were better chances than Liverpool created because it was one-on-one -on -one in the box twice after the one he scored. So we did the right thing on how we played against Liverpool because a lot of the times um, they can't cope with it. Is there, a meant, is, is there a sense of pride as well in the fact that the players, knowing that they were already down, came out and put in such a solid, such a resolute display today, even though it ended in defeat? Yeah, absolutely. I think that um, I couldn't have asked for anything more. You know, obviously, as a manager, you worry whether the disappointment of getting relegated is going to affect the, the commitment and the, and, the, and the determination of their performance. But uh, realistically, they were... They were absolutely fantastic today in terms of their application and in terms of their team spirit and in terms of the way they played as a team and not just the way they played as a team to try and shut out Liverpool. I mean, you saw Liverpool tear Manchester United apart in midweek because Man United played an open game against them to try and play around them and through them. And then I mean, Liverpool exposed them and scored four goals. There was no way that we could uh, allow ourselves to do that today. And, um, you know, frustrating the opposition to get them moaning and groaning um, is the right way forward for us as a team. And that's what we did. And um, we got them moaning and groaning and complaining. That shows you just how well we were playing and just how well we were frustrating them. We can't really remember too many clear, clear cut chances did Liverpool have? How many clear cut chances did we have compared to them? I think we, in that department, we had better clear-cut chances than they did. We spoke to Jürgen Klopp before he came in and he said that he saw one team that was getting all the free kicks, so he didn't have a problem if one went one decision went their way when they were given a free kick when the referee got in the way for their first goal. Um, I, I presume you see it differently. Well, you know, old Jürgen, like he's always right, isn't he? You know what I mean? He always thinks he's right, so perhaps I do the same, perhaps I always think he's right, like, you know, but... He's a lucky man tonight. He knows it. Thanks, Sam. Move on to the Britons now. Joe Massa from the Express and Star. Can I ask for hands raised to follow please? 
Hi Sam, can I just ask about Grady and Howe? We've not seen them from the start for a long time. Why did you decide to give them an opportunity today? Why? Did you say why didn't we give an opportunity? Yeah, sorry, my signal's poor. Um, because he's been fit for quite a while and um, and I think that um, we've gone with the same time, same team um, for, on, a, on a regular basis. We've been very good with injuries, so we've not had to change the side, but I felt that um, uh, the basis of giving him a try was was the right time because we're not going to be affected by our position in the league. So we could get him, let him go out there and see what he can do, obviously, and he contributed well, like every player did, to a, to the best performance that they could give today. So it's very pleasing that, uh, to see that. Obviously, we'd like to see more of his ability in the final third, but that would only come when you're playing a lesser team uh, than Manchester, uh, sorry, than Liverpool, because you have to do the defending side right. But all the team and all the players and, and all 11 did the defending side brilliant today and then when they could they went off on the attack and, and tried to create as many chances as they could so I was pleased for him Okay Steve Maidley Hi Sam um, obviously a, bit, a, bit, a big few days coming up for yourself and, and the club in terms of, of decisions I mean you didn't you didn't look like a man on the sidelines who lost any appetite for the for the, for the contest um, when you come to, ma to make your decision in the next few days um, I get it um, uh, wound up with the emotion of every single game, no matter where it is, no matter what it means, whether it keeps us up or whether we've got relegated today wasn't about that. It was just about the fact that we are professionals and I need to perform at my best as well as the players. So I have to convince them that they have to go out and give their all. So I was getting... Um, off the bench, uh, asking them just to see the game out and see it through because they had, they had put themselves in a position where at one stage they could have won it. Unfortunately, um, the draw would have been a great result for us, but unfortunately we had to suffer the loss in the end. So in the end, out of all that, what happened, um, when it happened and what it happened, um, did or didn't go against us, the bottom line at the last second, I just wish we'd have picked up the goalie and defended that. 